Hey everyone, it is Paige of Pure Vita Performance, your cycling nutrition and mindset coach and coach to the Pure Vita Mavericks. And today's Teachable Tuesday. Okay, so I wanted to make sure for those of you that are in my private Facebook group, for those of you who are not, it's Pure Vita Mastery. Um, there was an amazing question um, posted in there by one of our members, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. And she said that in response to last week's uh, Teachable Tuesday about wind, what about crosswinds? And so I asked her to elaborate a little bit more because I know that, um, I wanted to know what the feeling was. And I, I know that there's gonna be some more of you that really resonate with this. And so her response was that she feels like she's gonna be blown over. Um, especially when you're riding on country roads and you come out from a treed area to open field. So we all know what that's like, right? And she gets very tense, you know, the kind of the white knuckle kind of tense. And so um, that was kind of the feeling that she got. So this really tells me a lot about what's going on. And I know that there, you know, I have been hit by wind actually when I was in Arizona and we were up on top of Mount Graham, which was over 9,000 feet. The wind was pretty strong up there. <laughs> so my response to that is that um, if you feel this crosswind thing and it scares the crap out of you, um, the next time, so what's happening, like the white knuckle kind of tense is telling me that someone's body is tensing up, right? And so I talk about this in Rocky Ride all the freaking time. Um, I'm always saying, because when we spin our legs really, really, really fast, you know, we go like this and we're almost like wincing and the shoulders come up, you know, and it's like, we need to do what we have to do and we have to stay relaxed, right? So when you come out from a tree line or something um, and you think that you're going to get hit by some wind, I want you to think just relax and it's like against every grain in your body because our immediate reaction is to like hang on for dear life right ah, I'm gonna get hit by this thing but like by the wind but if you can just relax so relax your hands on the bars so no death gripping no white knuckles so relax your hands on the bars relax your shoulders relax your elbows give your elbows a wiggle and then Think about relaxing your jaw. And then when you come out from that tree line, the wind is not going to affect you as much as if you were really tense. So when you think about being really tense, it's gonna hit you and it's gonna knock you abruptly, right? If you stay really relaxed, it's just gonna kinda, you're gonna feel it, but your body is gonna be able to respond, right? And, um, you know, so I want you to think about this and um, what else did I put on here? Um, gosh, I said so much in this post, so you should go to this post and check it out. Um, but yeah, wiggle your elbows, relax your hands and your jaw and see what happens. Oh, and the other thing is if you want to test it out, you might get real crazy, is that um, where that wind is that you're going to hit like beside that tree line, be really tense and come out turn around, go back, and then come back and do what it is that I've suggested, which is relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, relax, wiggle the elbows, and then, and then you can actually see the difference. And what's really cool is that since I posted this, which was last week, another member of our group, Trish, actually tried this and she's like, couldn't believe it. So this stuff works, the more relaxed we can be on the bike, the better. And I mean that in every sense of the imagination, when we're climbing, when we're descending, when we're spinning fast, when we're putting in a hard effort, all that kind of stuff, we need to stay as relaxed as possible. And sometimes it's hard to, and sometimes we forget, and it's just being really aware that relaxing on the bike is your best friend. So that is our Teachable Tuesday for this week. I wanted to make sure that everyone got in on that one because it was such an amazing question. So thank you, Rebecca. And um, I will see you next week for Teachable Tuesday. And I'll see you in the group for sure. And if you're not in the group, oh yeah. And uh, for those of you, I'm super duper excited. So for those of you that are local to where I am, 
which is in Barrie, Ontario. There is a Mavericks night on April 30th and there is some killer stuff coming down the pipeline. So you wanna make sure that you get to that event. I'll be posting more videos on that and I will talk to you soon. Bye.